Cabbage Patch Previously Kings is most certainly from my childhood, Tripler. and that's Game Boy Advance, and that sells for just about $20. So this pretty sweet Nikon camera that I picked up for $15 goes with this, a Canon AE-1. What's happening folks? Tripler here. My real name is Nick. I'm a part-time online reseller utilizing platforms like eBay and Amazon to buy new and used goods that I'll get at a garage sale, a thrift store, a flea market, or even sometimes an estate sale. And we're buying these items to flip them for a profit. And I started the channel so that I could teach you how to look out for these items as well. But in today's video, we've got a whole lot to talk about. So stay tuned. I collect so many things. Would you like to share this journey with me? I will show you the prizes I got today. So come along so with come me. Along with come me. on and join me. Chase. Yeah. The first thing I wanted to talk about today is your health. And a lot of YouTubers are talking about this right now and I think it's incredibly important. Harry Tornado, uh, Josh, has an awesome channel. He's been talking about it recently. And it shouldn't be a surprise that your health and your reselling go hand in hand. Recently, over the last month, I've documented some of my journey getting myself back into shape because two years ago, I really started trying to better my health. I didn't want to be a father who grew older who couldn't keep up with their kids. I'm documenting this journey and I wanted to show it to you because I'm hoping in some way this might give you just a little bit of motivation. So check it out. What's happening folks, Triple here. I just got done with workout at the gym. Laziness is not something that's in my bones. Staying consistent, staying on track. I didn't want to run today but I still went out and did it. You should do. Second workout of the day and the post recovery shake. Sweet. So trust me, I'm not showing you this video to brag or to show off in any respect. I just want you to go out there and be the best version of yourself. And I know you can do that. The next thing we're gonna talk about is subscribers. So if you're watching this video and you're new to the channel, First of all, hit that like button. I really want you to do that. And also, be a subscriber. And to incentivize things, we're gonna do a little giveaway. Once we get to 500 subscribers, we're going to be giving away an Xbox One X or a $300 Amazon gift card. Either one, you can choose whoever the winner is. Once we get to the 500 subscribers, which I'm sure we're gonna do in February, that is the goal. 500 subscribers in February. That means I'll pick an upcoming video that I want you to comment on. So as long as you're a subscriber and as long as you comment on that video, then you will be entered. And I'll just use a YouTube comment generator to find the winner. So it's gonna be really simple and more details to come, but subscribe, you gotta subscribe. So let's start there. And I think that's a great way to show my appreciation for you coming, watching, and being a subscriber. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's get into today's episode. We went to an estate sale and it was awesome. There were some really phenomenal finds. I won't say any more, but you just gotta stay at least for the estate sale finds. Then we went on to one local pickup and we went to three thrift stores and it was the same thrift store every single time. <laughs> and one day's good, the next day's good, hey, Go a third day. Check out today's video. I think you guys are gonna like it. Let's get right on into it. Protein, That's huh? good. Yep. That's very good. Mm -hmm. I like the cherry one. 
Did Mick mess the What? They sell, they sell, what? they sell it. I throw him four each. You have resale? Come on, Neil. Yeah, dude. Uh, Don't be shady, man. I went to an estate sale and I absolutely killed it. <laughs> I had such a great time. Uh, they had, first of all, it was not a like a crazy mess of people going in like my last experience, which was just uncomfortable. This experience was relatively peaceful. Everyone kind of was moseying around. No one had like a, an item they were dying to have, even though the pictures were really, really strong. I picked out one item. I picked out many items, got many items, spent $225. But I grabbed one item that out of the corner of my eye was like, you know, that looks kind of old and unique. I'm gonna check that out. And the box, of course, was pretty rough, but even even if all of the items are inside of the box, it would sell for probably $40, $50. Let me show it to you. So this, this Micronauts Battle Cruiser looks super cool, right? Well, let me show you what happens when you open the box. Boom, that happens. Star Wars Land Cruiser in the box, original. <laughs> yeah. I could care less about the rest of it, but that dang thing, if that is what I think it is, in amazing condition, maybe not even used, yeah! All right, folks, there it is. There she lies. It isn't new, but the box is in pretty good condition and uh, so is the land speeder, by the way. Nice surprise. Nice that that's in there. Certainly adds more to the value. Very happy about this pickup. So, and then uh, the rest of it we'll go through later on. All right, coming off the high of that epic land speeder pickup, this estate sale had a whole bunch of Fisher Price little people. And it was it was awesome because I got it all in bulk and he gave me bulk price for everything. So I've had a number of sales. I have a number right now that are listed and I was trying to put each of these things into individual lots. You can see the first one there was the 19 accessories that sold for $38. The horses which were damaged but still sold for $15. The next one here was the family camper. I was so shocked that it was in such great condition. That sold for $42. The jet plane, this is the 1970-72 um, version. And then I actually have another one as well you'll see listed in a moment. And then here was the boat girl and boy. It's a lot of five total pieces and that sold for 22. So let me show you the other little people listings that I have on eBay right now. I have a total of I believe 12 additional listings for $425 and I've had them up for a couple of weeks and starting next week I'm going to turn on promoted listings to try to get those listings to the top of the search algorithm. There are so many really unique little people items in here. Most of them are vintage. I think there are a couple of new ones towards the bottom here. But these are so desirable and collectible. If you find little people from the 90s all the way back to the 70s, you should definitely be looking at them for pickup because they sell really well. We are going to a local pickup and we're gonna pick up a Nintendo Wii set for $20. It has two Motion Plus controllers. It has Wii Sports. It is the black version. It will not be backwards compatible, but I should be able to sell that for about $70. That's a nice pickup. And then since we're in this area, we're gonna go to my absolute favorite thrift store, Savers. And I know a lot of people on YouTube who really dog on Savers. I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say, I love Savers. Some of the best inventory I have right now comes from Savers. I'm well, how are you? Hi. Such a pain in the butt to move. <laughs> Where are you going? Tennessee. Tennessee. Okay. Yeah. I know a lot of people from California going there. I'm 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 a I'm a dog fan, so Okay, good. He's just he's, a lot of people are scared of him, but he's out back. Okay, cool. He's um yeah, he's cool. Hip hop. Hey. That he's right. trademarked by Savers. Trigger, I like that. So sometimes you know what happens with these? They they just like have a bit of corrosion in the that's, back of that's what happened. They yeah. look like corrosion, but I'm too afraid to... Oh yeah, uh, it, it's totally fixable. Well, she was very nice. I did pick up a couple of additional electronics 
on top of the Nintendo Wii. The Wii ended up being just one controller. I think she felt, or she thought, that the nunchuck was a separate controller, and the pictures didn't uh, do justice to where I could determine it was a separate item. But anyway, the one controller, uh, Wii Sports, and the, the system itself, still good pickup for $20. And like I said, I did pick up a couple of other items. I spent $40 in her house for just a bunch of random wares. Was happy about it. Now we're on our way to Saber. Who doesn't love Sabres? The quest for Cutco has yielded results. Huge stack of comic books. Like, really nice stuff. So are these Oakleys? I can't tell. It's got that little guy right there. I have no idea. Got another hit here on some Jordans. Really, really nice condition. Okay, so these came out super dirty. And one of the employees here said, how much you want to pay for them? And I was like, I don't know. She said, how about 10 bucks? This is a steal. We made it to Savers. Picked up this Nintendo Wii for $5. It does come with the AV cable. I'm going to look to see if there's a power cable to test it, but for sure, 5 bucks. $10 for this. I'm going to look this up, but it seems like a no-brainer because it's sealed, but unless this is only like a $15 item, I'm picking this up. I just have had so much success with... Frozen dolls, and she's got the dress on, so I'm gonna pick that up. All right, we got a lot to look at here, but lots of possibilities. Got our first hit here. Sweet. No risk. I'm gonna take a chance on this for five ninety nine, cause. I heard Naruto cards can be worth some good money. So, this is a risk, but wait, it's not found in it. It's $3.99. Gonna take a chance for $3.99. This is $2.99. She does not have the rest of her dress, so I'm probably have to pass on that one. I think this is a bundle with that subwoofer over here. Let me check out the price. All right, folks, this stuff still sells. And for 15 bucks, I'm grabbing it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's sealed. Is it sealed? It's definitely not taped up, but... Scan this is gonna be like... I don't know, it's gonna be a big one. It's a pack of 22 of these, so... I don't know what to do with these, but it's a pretty good price. Dude, these are dope. I'm not sure what they are yet, but... They're in great condition. Sweet. Alright, check this out. Sealed copy of Guitar Hero Smash Hits for about 50 bucks. We play, not worth much. But that game is... Boy. Wii Sports, so... It's kind of up to the staff to check that, so... I'll take that. And then Guitar Hero 5, sealed. Again, that's like a $25, $30 game. So those three total are 12 bucks. It's huge. An awkward exchange at the checkout. So as I was ringing up, there were a number of items that had stickers on them that appeared like they had been tampered with or someone had removed a sticker and placed something else on it. And it was so awkward because 
first of all, I'm in there all the time. And to be someone who is taking stickers or tags off and placing them on other items so you can get a cheaper price, it's not something I'm willing to risk, especially at a place where I go all of the time. So there were at least two items in particular, almost three. There were two items, one, the pair of polos, which I did end up picking up for $30. There was a sticker on the inside that said $15.99. And then on the outside, there was a purple tag that kind of was right on the um, right on the toe of the shoe. And I actually, I didn't even notice it. Grabbed them, put them in my cart. Uh, there was a computer that I grabbed. I didn't get it on camera because um, I wasn't sure if I was going to pick it up, but I eventually rang up with it. There were two stickers on it. There was one below it and one on top. It was for $70 for a MacBook, uh, for an iMac and it didn't work. Uh, I plugged it in, tested it, and there is uh, an output problem with it, and it just beeps. So I had seen that there was a 1999 sticker on it. Well, when I checked out, she said yesterday this ringed up for 69.99, and she noticed that there was a sticker laying on top of it, and I was like, well, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't do that. And then she pulled up the shoes, and she's like, hey, these are ringing up women's. Um, it looks like this tag right here is actually it and I was like oh okay well <laughs> I didn't do that either <laughs> if I was gonna switch the tag I probably wouldn't leave it on the toe <laughs> so she kind of gave me this look like yeah other people do that and I was like okay weird awkward and then finally I had a set of Klipsch speakers it said times three that was probably the only saving grace because on the actual tag they put a multiplier three on it but it was falling off of the subwoofer. I mean, legitimately falling off. It was for $10. Again, she's like, no, 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 this is correct. All in all though, what do you do in a situation where the thrift store is probably looking at you like you just tried to price fix this thing? I mean, other than to say I, I didn't do it <laughs> and I paid for the items in full, except for the computer, which I said, you can put that back. I wouldn't pay $70 for something that's not working. Pretty simple, pretty fun little stop. A lot of value there, lots of value. So that's why it's my favorite thrift store. Six bucks, a Canon Sure Shot A1. Seriously, like this, I don't get it. All right, this is like a starter puffer ski jacket, but they want 30 bucks for it, but I think this tag is half price. I'll take it for 15, not for 30. Um, these are so vintage and awesome for four bucks. I don't even care if they're worth 10. I bet you they're worth more than that though. So cool. Same spot, four bucks. This Mac Mini needs some cleanup, but uh, still goes for about 60 bucks on eBay. I'm picking that up. How many of you will go back to the same thrift store multiple times a day? Especially if you live close by, it's probably not that big of a deal. And I can't imagine that the staff wouldn't like to see your smiling face, especially if you're buying things. Here I am going back to Savers because I have the time to do it. So we're gonna stop at Savers a second time. It's very much like hearing the phrase, new cart to the floor. I can't help but think there are new items out there and I need to find out what they are. Nintendo Wii for $6 and a PS2 Slim for $6. It's a great deal. I'm taking them both. All right, folks, these are the clubs that you're gonna see in almost any thrift store. If you get them for three bucks, they can still sell for $20, $25. And the shipping is just not that bad. You just need to do a little bit of research and it's worth picking up. Can you believe that this thing is selling new for $75? Six bucks. Oh yeah. Um. Okay, hold on, wait a second. Is that who I think it is? because I'm pretty sure that's Chris Evans. And we're gonna need to do a Google search to confirm Chris Evans happened to be a model 
for the game Mystery Date. And as we're sliding down here, it's looking pretty good here. His face is next to the actual game. And, oh my god, here's, here's an article that says his name was Tyler. Okay, I'm going to check one more site. Yeah, BuzzFeed has definitely confirmed it. Okay, that means this item is going to be listed for $1,000. Sweet! Well, I hope you guys liked today's video. Some of the finds were really fantastic. The Jordans, by the way, were really awesome. So I might keep those, but they're really nice. The find of the episode is, without a doubt, the Star Wars Land Speeder. I mean, it was sitting inside that Micronauts box, and, like, it was such a surprise. You can't say that wasn't the find of the episode, because it had to have been. In any case, again, I'll say please like and subscribe. Like I said, we're gonna have a little giveaway once we get to 500. And you know what? I'll see you guys next time. Thanks a lot.